Alright, this is how you download Seamless Co-op with mods so you can play with your friends. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download Elden Mod Loader. I have all the links to all these in the description down below. All you have to do is click manual here, click slow download and wait for it to download. And then after you do that, you're going to want to click on the link for Seamless Co-op. You'll download that one as well. So now you should have these two zip files here. So what I like to do is open a folder here and just put one of them in, extract it here just so I can have all the files right there where I need them. We're going to have to extract here, delete the zip, you don't need that no more. Now go into Steam, find your Elden Ring game, just right click it, go to manage, browse local files, open that. Now just open the game file here and just take these, drop them in. Now you're going to want to take seamless zip file, extract it, delete that zip file, you don't need it anymore. Take it and also drop it in. Now you should have a seamless co-op file here with mods. You're going to open that and open up seamless co-op settings. Once you open the settings notepad, you're going to want to put in any password that you choose here. Make sure it's a password that no one else has but make sure you give your friends the exact password so that they can join the world. And something I like to do is change the player HUD here to zero so that there's no uh, host of fingers text there, just your friend's name. And then you're going to want to save it. And once you change your settings to your liking, you're going to want to copy both of these two files and put them into the mods folder here. Now you're going to want to try and launch Elden Ring Seamless Co-op.exe. After you've launched Elden Ring Seamless Co-op and you have a problem, an error pops up and the game closes, just come up here and go to Seamless Co-op and delete these two files here. That'll fix your issue. Just relaunch it after you do that. If it doesn't say welcome to Seamless Co-op for Elden Ring, you did something wrong, just go back through the video and make sure you did everything right. Click OK. OK. And now you'll be able to play Seamless Co-op with your friends, as long as they do the exact steps that I told you. Okay, next step. This is how you're going to add mods to Elden Ring Seamless Co-op, okay? Now you're going to need to go back into the description and go to the link for Mod Engine 2. Come down here to Assets and open it. Click Mod Engine 2 here and download it. And next you're going to want to go and find the mod that you want to use. I'm going to put this one in the description if you want to use it, but I'll tell you how to install this one. And for any mod that you try to download, just scroll down until you find the how to install for your, the mod that you're trying to download. Okay, now you can just close out the Elden Ring directory folder. Now you don't have to do this, you can just unzip this file and it'll give you a mod engine file. Just extract it on your desktop if you want to put it in its own file. I just named it Elden Ring and this is how I launched the game. You'll open the file, open this file, and this is where you're going to launch the game for mods. So now you're going to take your mod and extract it. And once you do that you can just delete the zip file, you don't need it anymore. Now you're going to take all the contents from the mod and put it in the mods folder. Just like that just drag and drop but this is for this mod your mod might be different you're just gonna have to go into the description of the mod and figure out how to do that before you launch the game you need to open up mod engine 2 and open the config Elden Ring Tomal scroll down until you see the external DLLS in quotations type ERSC dot DLL and then save it once you do that, open your seamless co-op file in your game directory. Copy the bottom four files and paste them in the mod engine 2 directory. Now that your mod is in the mod folder, all you have to do is launch Elden Ring and it'll launch seamless co-op with the mod engine. Once you launch Elden Ring, you'll be in seamless co-op and all you have to do is create your character and your mod will be running. Depending on the mod that you use, you'll have to look in the description and figure out what weapon it replaced or if it added a weapon, where to get your mod weapon or just how to use it. But now all you have to do 
is go into your game. Now I'll say this again, don't forget you have to have your friends do everything exactly like this and have the same exact password so you can join each other's game. And as you can see I'm in the game, I have the mod weapon that I wanted and to be able to join each other's game all you have to do is go into your inventory and come down to this. If you're hosting you're going to want to click this item here use it and it'll ask to open your world of wanderers Let's click yes now your world is open and if you're the one trying to join a friend all you have to use is this item you'll click it use it and click yes once you do that it'll automatically pull you into your friend's world as long as his is open and to leave the world or pick your friends out you have to use the separation mist you use this item and it'll separate everyone from the world. You can also do all this by holding your Y button to get into this interactive. All the items are set there. And now all you gotta do is just play and have fun. Enjoy the mod, enjoy the seamless co-op.